started dancing when I was three. Um, I got more serious into it whenever I was about nine years old. But by the time I was 13, I was sure this is what I wanted to do. Um, <laughs> when I was growing up, I always wanted to be a lawyer. And then I wanted to be a marine biologist so I could swim with dolphins. <laughs> but now, um, if it weren't dance, I think it would be more um, promoting health education. I plan on implementing more art education as well as health education into poor communities. That's what I would like to do with dance. Uh, background, dance education, and then where do I see dance in 10 years? It's a hard question because every 10 years dance is something completely different. It's constantly evolving. So I don't even know what to expect, but I'm sure that it's something completely different from what we have now. There are quite a few things that are pretty difficult. It's pretty rigorous uh, athletically. People don't give it enough credit for that. Um, so that's one thing that's pretty difficult. But also a lot of it is based on routine, especially ballet, repetition and doing the exact same exercises, performing the exact same things every time. And so you have to find ways to make it something new. And that's something that's pretty challenging about the art form is it's pretty repetitive. So you have to find ways to make sure that it doesn't become the same. serves as my inspiration for movement and creativity but a lot of times I like to use like the mood for my day to inspire my movement so however I'm feeling that particular day whatever mood I'm in I kind of let that dictate how my body wants to move. An art form but it's also very different from a lot of art forms because your body is your instrument yourself um, you know when you have cameras and you have paintbrushes and you have musical instruments but in dance you have to work with your own body and in a lot of those forms there's a um, a perfect instrument or a perfect tune but our bodies are all different, shaped differently, different flexibilities, and so it's an interesting art form because of your body is, is your vessel and your uh, way of movement. And so um, it also helps you become really comfortable within your own skin because it's what you have to accept. And so it's something that has been a um, pretty big part of my life and affected who I am for the most part because I have to accept that my instrument is my creativity and my body is my instrument.
best advice that I've gotten has probably been to not look around, to not even look in the mirror at yourself. Um, dance studios always have mirrors, which is a blessing and a curse because you see yourself, but then you're not engaging in the environment. And you're also judging yourself, and then you see the others around you and what they're doing. So I would say the best advice I've ever gotten would be to not look around and to just really 